we as programmers, we need to sort of consider that we've got people that have been doing it for two weeks and people that have been doing it for sort of 10, 15 yeah. years. So we've got to allow for development at any stage. Okay, so we personally, we have three levels of our programming, health, fitness and performance. They've all got the same stimulus, but they'll, they'll differ in complexity, maybe, and, and certainly weights, maybe repetition ranges as well. Um, we, and most boxes will have this kind of structure. So you'll have a, you'll have a brief in, and it will talk about the workout, the stimulus of the workout. We'll then have a warm up, which is like a quite a dynamic warm up, which is specific to the movements you're going to be doing on that day, as opposed to just a general kind of jumping jacks and press ups and this sort of thing. So it'll be quite specific to what's going to be that day. We we'll then typically have a part A, which is a strength or a skill element. Um, so they're quite calm, quite slow. Um, and it might be that we follow in some sort of cycle. So this is kind of typical to any strength protocol, maybe sort of some linear progression, and that might be working off of percentages of one rep maxes or RPEs. Um, so we're, we've, we help to try and get people quite in tune with rate of perceived exertion. So a 10 is this and a one's this, and this workout should be a six or a seven. Um, so they're kind of things that are probably just in any general strength and conditioning program um, so we found that cycles work quite well just because it gives people a chance to grow but also a chance to familiarize themselves with movements um, and you know like to, to gradually get better week by week and we also emphasize that you know getting better doesn't mean to say that your weight has to go up like doing something with the same weight um, better like more te technically better is still improvement um, and then we'll generate, so after that, and we try to get people to, as best we can, to sort of know their data. Um, I kind of use the expression, you've got to know, know your data to grow your data. Um, and that sort of like repels people some way or it's like, oh yeah, actually I'll write that down. Yeah, and when you say data, is that health data, lifting data? Just their, their performance, so whether the weight they did, the reps they did, how it fell, any technique sort of things that click for them today, just that sort of stuff. Um, then we'll have generally a part B. So that'll be normally a conditioning. So this is when we elevate the heart rate a bit. So, and it will vary in time from maybe intervals. So short and sharp, and we might sort of go two minutes on, one minute off. Um, and, and this is where the variance comes in because these are the variables that we play with. Uh, and we might draw in sort of a, it might be a heavy element with a conditioning element. So we might deadlift and run. Um, and it, I could go on and on and on because there's a hundred different movements and then you could put them into to sort of different things. But we'll generally do something that's been quite specific relating to part A. So if part A, for example, was a back squat, um, then part B might feature a thruster or wall balls. So we're already kind of warmed up. We're already in that. We've, we've got a head around that movement pattern. So then part B will kind of feature in that way. So that helps with the complexity in learning the movement. Um, and then we'll probably put in a low complexity movement and we've got ski ergs, we've got bikes, we've got rowers, we've got room to run, you know, and then you've got things like burpees and box jumps. I might put in that bracket as well and skip in. Uh, so then we'll put a low complexity movement in there as well. Um, and then we may put sort of a gymnastic -y movement in, which might have a skill element. So that might be handstand push up, uh, pull up or a rope climb or something like that. Um, and there'll be scaling options for everyone. And, you know, it's going to challenge the fittest and it's going to be achievable for the newest. Um, and we always, like, we make a big point of saying to people, like, in your first few months, I want you to leave this place feeling like you, you could have done more, you could have lifted heavy, you could have gone faster. Okay, because it's about literally building consistency um, and making this a habit. Thank <laughs> you.